What's up, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? This is uh, MJ's Total Health and Wellness Enrichment. Uh, back with another video. Please support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button along with the bell icon to be notified when I drop videos. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I've been swamped uh, at work over the last week, so it's been hard to get my videos in, but uh, I'm back. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Jerome Boots in this uh, takes on David Avenesian. Uh, I expect uh, Boots to get him out of there. Um, let me see. I say probably maybe around round eight or nine ish, you know, because I know that Boots uh, hasn't fought uh, in a while. So give him a couple rounds to knock off uh, the rust. And although this is boxing and anything can happen, um, I don't see Avenition uh, beating Boots. So, you know, I, I don't mean to just to skip over him. But I would like to say, let's talk about if Boots is victorious tomorrow. Let's talk about setting up a Boots and Conor Van fight. Let's make it happen. You know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I understand promotional companies, they want to hold on to fighters that they feel can continue to make them uh, money, but there comes a point in time where you guys have got to take these fighters out of the protection agency and let them fight. They're prize fighters. Now, I think uh, Eddie Hearn's thing is Conor Ben makes money for them domestically over uh, in UK, but really he's not known here uh, in the United uh, States. Um, I say this, you know, if Boots had to go to England uh, to fight him, oh well, let, let's do it. Uh, maybe if Boots goes to England and defeats Conor Ben, uh, that builds his profile up over there. But, you know, point is, we still need to see these fights happening. I don't want to see uh, Conor Ben fighting any more uh, domestic D and C level fighters. It's time for these top fighters to match up and collide and go against each other. That's simple as that because I'm a hardcore fan that I put my money where my, my mouth is. So if you're going to come to me with these weak fights and weak cards, I'm not going to purchase it. No way. And I will be supporting uh, Terrence Crawford's card on August 3rd because that's a good card. That's, that's a good card. It's a solid card. So I will be supporting uh, that card. But, I, I mean, we need to see Boots and uh, Conor Ben. Simple as that. Because to me, it's not the, 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 the welterweight division right now is barren. So if I'm Boots... Uh, Maybe if Boots can get Conor Ben and then maybe a Stanionis, because Stanionis has been waiting in the wings now, uh, probably for like the past three, four, five years, is waiting in the win. It wants Boots can maybe get him and collect the title. But, you know, in all honesty, like I said before, if I'm Boots, let me get one or maybe two. Big fights at 147. Boots, you need to go to 154. That's where you need to be at. I mean, you know, you could take the belts at 147, but there's nothing there. If you want, you know, those legacy fights and, and that money, it's going to have to come at 154. You know, Spence is there. Crawford is there. And if you were to move to 154, you know... <laughs> and then those guys still didn't fight you now it's an obvious duck simple as that but I've been saying this anyway for the past um, few years that your big shot against Spencer Crawford was always going to be at the junior middleweight division I've been saying that because you're 
big for a welterweight. Uh, Errol Spence pretty big for a welterweight. So I knew naturally that uh, with, with Spence having a problem uh, cutting the weight like that, with Crawford getting older, you would see those guys in the next division up. So, you know, my thing is, Boots, uh, I, this is what I don't want uh, to happen. And I might do a video on this um, next. I don't want Boots Ennis to become Roy Jones Jr. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. What I mean when I say I don't want Boots to become Roy Jones Jr. is for those of you that watched Roy fight uh, throughout the 90s and, uh, and early uh, 2000s, Roy Jones was the lineal light heavyweight champion. You know, he also had the... Uh, the middleweight championship, the super middleweight championship. But what happened was when Roy, especially when he became, you know, he was super middleweight and light heavyweight champion, Roy fought all his mandatory defenses. But the thing is, a lot of Roy's mandatories were guys that were, they were decent, but they, they weren't any household names. But Roy, you know, he was under contract with HBO with the network, so of course he fought those guys. And like I said, he he dispatched of them, but those big legacy fights uh that he could have had during that time period, he couldn't because he was defending against those whatever mandatory came up uh next. And I say that because I remember when Boots had a contract with Showtime and now he's with Matchroom. I don't want you know Boots to get caught up in just fighting these B and C level guys, man, you got the talent to step outside the box now and, and go up there and get these big dogs. Simple as that. I mean, you don't want to be in a situation where you keep fighting these B level guys, and then when you finally do get your opportunity against a, a A level guy, you get schooled because you're you're not used to that level of competition. I say let's go ahead and jump into it and step into it now. Start start to increase that level of competition now. You know, if you get a Conor Ben, um, you know, great you get to keep Thurman, go up to 154. Maybe you fight you a, a, a top 10 uh, junior middleweight and then work your way up and, and go for them champions. But I just don't want you to languish, you know, fighting a bunch of no names. Well, yeah, your record is good and, and you look great, but the majority of people out here don't know you or recognize your talent or skill. You're that talent and the skill boost where you can go ahead and jump up to 154 and make some noise. That's how you do it. Make some noise. You know, go ahead and uh, let them guys know that you're about that smoke. So I just hopefully, I hope that boost does not languish at 147 pounds where, where it's bare. Because I can see you had a bunch of top level guys that were at 140 that were coming up, but I don't see any top level guys from 140 that come up that could really uh, challenge boots. So you can't say, don't stay at 147 where it's bare waiting on the guys at 147 uh, to move up because that division is about to heat up and those guys, a bunch of good fights that can make within that division. So if I'm boots, 154. Go get Spence. Go get Crawford. Uh, Zoo. Fundor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jamel Crawford. Go get those guys. MJ is total health and wellness in Richmond. Uh, once again, please, please like, 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 and share videos. Peace.